So earlier in the show, we had Mampele, Rampele, and Oz Angie arguing over whether education was better during apartheid or is it better now? Well, last week, some people who know the answers for sure came out of the woodwork and they were just like, we've got answers, we've got answers. Let's hear the answers. Red balloons, released in protest against alleged white genocide, supplemented by a memorandum of demands to the president, calling for the protection of whites and the halt of corrupt governance and black economic empowerment. Okay, you know what, South Africa? Maybe they have got a valid point. Maybe they're not just hankering on about apartheid. Let's hear them. Let's hear them out. Let's hear what they have to say. Maybe these points are very valid. Let's come. Tell us, comrades. 17 of our people are murdered every month by a black person. Now, I can only imagine the international outcry if 17 black people were murdered every month by white people. Really, Sunet? Now, let me get this straight. You are mainly concerned about the color of the person doing the killing. You'd, be, you, you'd feel a lot better if you were getting killed by your own people. No, our people need to be killed by their own people. You see what Oscar did? That is totally acceptable because, you know, we were doing, you know what I mean? What else do you guys want to talk about? Let's hear your problem. But Red October's facts and figures are under dispute. Statistics suggest white South Africans are less likely to be murdered than their black counterparts. What? Really? T tell me more about these statistics. This is just statistics. A 2009 analysis of police murder dockets show that in 86.9% of murder cases, the victims were black. Whites accounted for only 1.8% of the cases, even though they make up over 8% of the population. What? So white people making 8% of the population only make up 1.8 of murder victims? Whoa, whoa, whoa. According to these statistics, white people are not getting murdered enough per capita. This is crazy. I mean, really, forget ADT. I won't be white. Hmm? Me, I won't be white. I'm not trying to get murdered. I'm trying to be white. But I'm sure Steve has something to say about that as well. The material of the statistics, we are not used to this mortality rate. We are not used to being raped at this, at this rate. And most importantly, we are not used to being raped by other cultures, tribes, ethnicities. That's what I thought, Steve. Forget the facts, because that's how you roll. You forget the facts. You're just a hater, Steve. You're just a hater. What kind of a thing is that to say, my friend? What? This guy. If we're going to be raped, then we insist that it be our own. These are Afrikaner cookies, and they shall not be invaded, all right? This is Afrikaner, respect the Afrikaner cookie. Buddy, rape is bad under any circumstance. And I think you need medical help. That's what you need, some medical help. Because South Africa, this is just another example of how South Africans from all walks of life are madly and deeply obsessed with race. News that moves. ENCA.com.